I had a really good childhood. Um, my parents got divorced, I think, when I was three, so I don't really remember them being together. And um, I kind of bounced back and forth from San Luis Obispo County to here in Santa Barbara, and my dad's been uh, here for my whole life, and my mom was born and raised in San Luis Obispo. Um, the beach. My dad used to always take us to the beach, and that was one of my favorite things to do growing up. I lived with my mom and um, pretty much on AFDC and food stamps and my dad helping me out and stuff like that. Um, my first daughter Amanda I lost in a fire. We were in a trailer fire in Eureka, Mendocino County and um, she was three years old and I turned to alcohol because it was what I thought the only way to deal with with the pain and the grieving process and and just making it through it and it was just the worst thing that I could have ever turned around and done to myself and, and my daughter. I've worked so hard to get to this point and I'm not ready to quit. I've still got a lot of things that I want to accomplish. The root causes of homelessness, there's really no set of circumstances that causes somebody to become homeless. The economics, they suffer from some type of mental illness as well as some kind of addiction, um, alcohol or drugs. Um, and then there are some that just make some really poor choices in life. Either way, they have a different set of circumstances and what we do at Casa is we approach all those um, uh, issues that cause them to be homeless and address them one by one so that they don't fall back into homelessness once they leave Casa Esperanza. The homeless in Santa Barbara, the, the studies that I have read show that um, almost 70% of them uh, are either native Santa Barbara or have lived in our community for a good number of years. For men and women and children who live on the streets, they all face very serious risks. Um, some uh, emotional um, issues, uh, the feeling of isolation, the feeling of fear, the feeling that nobody cares about them, uh, very deep sadness. Um, there's also the physiological. Many are just hungry, they're cold, they're out in the elements. Um, and in addition to that, um, there are women and the aged who are the most vulnerable and the most in need out in the streets. Casa Esperanza felt a need uh, to address women in particular. Um, so we created a new program, uh, the Women's Wellness and Safety Program, that really focuses on the heart, mind, and the soul of women um, in the community. The street, out the street outreach team at Casa Esperanza is something that we are very, very proud of. Unlike any other program um, or shelter in this area, it is unique unto Casa Esperanza. And what the street outreach team does, it's, first it's a, it's a team of four that go out there seven days a week, um, uh, 8 to 4.30 every day, and they go out into the community, and that means go out to the camps, go out to the beaches, go out to the encampments, in other words, um, to State Street, to the lower Milpas area. Go, they go out to Isla Vista, and what they do is that they build that trust and relationship with the homeless individuals. Their number one priority is to get them into Casa Esperanza, to get them into Casa, to meet a case manager, get some social services, get linked up with the, with the community resources, and in the last 12 months, um, our street outreach team has made over 400 new contacts. That is incredible. Um, of those uh, 400 contacts, over 55% of them have actually come into Casa Esperanza for services, and then of those um, went from living out in encampments to having their own place. The study recently done in Santa Barbara is our cost of dealing with our homeless population, which countywide is about 4,000 individuals, is about $36 million a year. And I know that we can house those people, and we've proved it out with El Carrillo, and we proved it out with Casa Esperanza. Um, the daily cost, the shelter, I believe, is about $14 uh, a day to put someone in a shelter, but shelters are not the long-term solution. Putting them in supportive housing is $28 a day. Putting them in the jail is $86 a day. Going to a hospital, you're talking $2,000 a day. So it's It really uh, makes great sense from a moral perspective and a financial sense to, to see that Casa Esperanza continues to be able to do its job. At Casa Esperanza, we treat the symptoms of homelessness while building healthy relationships. Our services help homeless individuals and families develop long-term solutions with lasting success. We measure our success by the number of people who receive shelter 
and how many leave the streets in favor of a safe and secure living environment? I mean, there's got to be a purpose to being here, and I think everybody's got a purpose, and whether each individual finds that purpose or not isn't known, but I think I've, I've definitely got a purpose for being here. Good evening everybody, I'm Peter Stearns, co-founder of Cook Better, Live Better. Here we are in beautiful Santa Barbara evening at Emilio's Restaurant on Cabrillo Boulevard. I want to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about the cause we have going on and take you on a little tour of Emilio's Restaurant. So come on inside. Here we are inside Emilio's at the beautiful bar. Take a look around here. I want to take you inside the kitchen on a little tour and introduce you to my business partner Pete show you where the magic happens and talk to you a little bit about the food that you guys are eating on your bus ride down to Tina Turner tonight. Here we are inside the uh, restaurant where the magic happens. Hey, I'm Pete Clements, uh, executive chef at Emilio's Restaurant and co-founder of Cook Better, Live Better. I wanted to bring you into the kitchen here and introduce myself and uh, let you know a few of the goodies that you're going to be having uh, today on the bus. I prepared a couple dishes for you today, something you'll be having on the bus on your way down to LA. So along with a few of the items that Pete mentioned, um, you're also going to be having a slow roasted pork slider, heirloom tomato, iceberg lettuce, a creamy Dijon dressing, and a panini with a portobello mushroom, caramelized onion, and crumbled blue cheese. And I wanted to talk to you guys just a little briefly about these containers that you guys are eating your food out of tonight. They're an eco-friendly local company from Santa Barbara. They distribute this product and it's 100% biodegradable. This product right here that, that your food's being served in tonight is made out of corn and the utensils that you'll be using are also made out of 100% biodegradable product made out of potato. And I'd like to wish you guys all a nice trip down to LA and a wonderful time with the Tina Turner concert and we're thankful for Emilio's let us use their kitchen and help contribute to this benefit and check us out at cookbetterlivebetter.com.